Wondering right now, though, how many other major league teams are sitting back thinking, I hope they don't start looking at, at what we were doing, right? Because I find it hard to believe, and I don't have any proof that there was only one team doing this. I mean, obviously, the Boston Red Sox, there's an investigation going on, but I'm sure there are players, and I'm sure there are teams who are sitting back to saying, I hope this thing blows over. I'm glad you brought that up, because now Alex Cora obviously engulfed in the fire, not only if 20, 2017 is the bench coach for those Astros, but then Jack 2018 with the Red Sox and their manager last year he lost his job as well right the Red Sox acting decisively and Alex Cora was a cult hero with the Red Sox helps them win 108 games they win a World Series title he was considered this genius but part of that genius was pushing the boundaries and, and going beyond what you're allowed to do in trying to steal signs so Cora ends up paying for that just as Lunau and Hinch did before him. And real quickly on what John said, I spoke to somebody pretty well connected with this investigation and did say exactly what you said, that there might be other teams who are pushing the boundaries a little bit, and they should be happy that it doesn't extend any more than it does right now. Maybe it does down the line. It hasn't yet. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting for Alex Cora and the Boston Red Sox to see where this new investigation is going to go, where it's going to end up, what the suspension will be. And I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like Alex Cora, out of the three managers who lost their jobs, probably will have the toughest time getting back in. I mean, to bring it from Houston to Boston, to win a World Series your first year, and to have... I guess the arrogance to do that, I think it's going to be tough for him to find another managing job.